amputated his leg above the knee. And came here, got him up walking, uh, do, did very well. Uh, six months later, he says, I want to know how to run. Designed him a prosthesis for running, specialized just for running. And he said, you know, I, I want a water leg. Got him a water leg. I just uh, spoke to him last week. He wants to go wakeboarding this summer. And I'm going to make him a prosthesis for wakeboarding as an above the knee amputee. Well, um, I always knew that I wanted to do uh, work in a profession where I could help people. Growing up, one of Chris Court's best friends had cerebral palsy, and he inspired Court's career. Uh, I watched him grow up and have braces, which is orthotics. After a 12-year career as a prosthetist, he built his company from the ground up in 2009. Okay. His goal? To make sure his patients can walk with the same ease that he can by outfitting them for prosthetic body parts. Good. Let's just stand up, head back. The amount of patients that I see a day varies. It's not like uh, a doctor's office where you, you may see 30 or 40 or 50 patients and people are in and out. He services over 200 patients from his office, which also functions as an engineering lab where he makes custom prosthetics. It's um, very rewarding to help these people and they inspire me. Most recently there's a young man who, uh, you know, he comes right to my, my mind. Chris is talking about Ariel Fishman, a business professor in New York City. I'm married, I have three children, and um, about 11 months ago I was taking them to school and I got out of the car to get something from the trunk when a taxi came out of nowhere and collided right into, uh, into the trunk and into where I was standing. I ended up having net net 14 surgeries. I was in the hospital for two months and now I am bilateral amputee. I felt like the guys here, uh, both as a group and Chris individually, really understood kind of what my personal goals were and what my personal needs were and what I want to do with my life and how, you know, the elements of my, of my life that I want to restore most with getting prostheses. Ariel's ultimate goal is to run like the accident never happened. You know, personally, I, I've always enjoyed jogging. I ran the New York Marathon um, uh, just under 10 years ago, and I'm planning on running again this year. Then he sent me a little clip of him running around a track last night. For Chris, Ariel's success is his own success. No, I mean, uh, you know, I, I enjoy what I do. Uh, I like helping people, and it's rewarding to see people um, excel and go back to life. I do take it to heart and I do think about the people and, and I care about the people and, and, and I think that's what's most important. So.